Anyway, uh, let us watch. Uh, do we want to have the subtitles on? I guess we will, so we can understand it, because it's in Japanese. Is this loud enough? I hope so. Okay. Looks cool. Starting off with the, the CG. Oh, who's it? Fuwa, I think. Fuwa. Oh, you verse? Oh my god. Oh, starting off with the, uh, the medieval music. I've seen this character a lot. She's the, the female Sue, right? Or whatever the fuck it is. Prometheus, the goat. The new goat. This was what? It's Mozart. Here it is. The faded reunion between two Seelies. Kira? Shigure Kira makes an appearance. In the story, that is. この夢で全てを知りなさい。あらゆる概念を幻して示しなさい。人類天体無視無重制限解除オーバーロード開始。Oh yeah, oh yeah, the OSTs never miss. Oh my god. Oh my god, the OSTs have never missed. That ability looked cool. I've never seen her visuals. I've never seen her visuals. Oh, she's dead, lol. <laughs> I apologize, everyone. Hello, captains. Uh, before what? I even get into the, the speaking, that, the music was really good. I like it. It's not overly unique. I think a lot of it sounded like a Ponyus trailer, but very similar vibe. But that, it was, the, the music is always pops off. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The, the drop has my legs trembling. The drop has my body rumbling, dude. It's crazy. Very good music, as Welcome always. Welcome to the Hyperion Lounge for version 6.6. .6. Hello. Now, I'm sure you've already watched the version trailer. No, I just watched it's it. It's great. But it does leave us with Wait. a lot of questions. So, you'll just have to give us more on what's to come. No problem. In yep. Story Chapter 37, the plot will take place in Salt Snow Holy City. Okay. And you can count on some unexpected twists and turns along the way. I'm sure we can. Story Chapter 36 was just the appetizer. Story Chapter 37... Well, it, wasn't, it wasn't really an appetizer. It was a bit more like the crumb before supper. Right? It was like a, a crumb of bread on the table that we got to eat. It was fucking nothing and practically useless. I'll be absolutely frank. But that's just an opinion. It's going to properly kickstart the main part of the new story chapter. Uh, Along with Shigure Kira, Misteln, Prometheus, and the person locals are referring to as the Sage, oh. Zella and her friends are going to run into someone else very cute. Kira? Very cute, huh? I can't wait! In addition to the new story and character, yeah. we'll also be getting a new combat system for the main story and scribed whispers. In this new game mode, which will be released in version 6.6, .6, you can unlock inscribed whispers with four attributes, light, ice, thunder, and dark. Each oh, attribute sorry, sorry, brings different skills and visual effects to the mode. game. Not important. You can equip two inscribed whispers at the same time in each stage and cast their active yeah. skills one after another in battle. Great. But beware. The order of inscribed whisper slots will determine which skill is cast first. Cool. Inscribed whispers will also have different types. I'm not overly so fussed about these things. Will like, unlock more combat power. They always tend to be like very easy because you can just always get them to like the highest like possible scaling, and it's super easy. So this is just the in quest or sorry, no, in chapter combat game mode, which yeah, meh. And make battling a breeze. Yeah. And you already know we're getting some new rewards for the main story event. What? Like the four-star Susanna event stigma, what? crystals, terminal A0017 what? fragments, new and more. Things? What? Some of those rewards are only available for a limited time, so don't miss out. The Susanna stigma is pretty much the only thing. Alright, it's time to introduce the new characters. 
Our old friend Hare is finally hopping on board. Great. We got to learn all about her background and past experiences in part one finale. But what about this newcomer, Mistone? I know Mistone. everyone's just dying to find out. So let's take a look. Yeah, physical main DPS. Her battlesuit Dreamweaver is, is a mech type physical damage dealer with two forms during battle. The yeah. first is her physical body form, where she'll appear as a stoic commander, waving a banner and summoning seeds of ideas to attack or defend. When yeah. she casts her ultimate, Miss Stone pulls enemies into a dreamscape and projects her astral form to fight them instead. Her astral form resembles a fearless warrior, wielding a javelin for close combat and uh, hurling uh, short spears from her back at just uh, the right moment to recharge SP. Okay. When her SP is full, Miss Stone can infuse a rock with Honkai energy this and use really it to cool. gather I've up enemies. No comment on this, as she I've then hurls a long so spear at the rock, kind of shattering it and dealing well. physical damage. When her ultimate ends, she wakes up from the dream. As her astral body throws the spear, Miss Stone awakens to deal physical damage to enemies again. What a Good neat, elegant combat style. Oh, and did you notice that Hare's weapon type is new? Yeah, she's the series' first javelin wielder. After the version 6.6 update, Hare's new javelin weapon, Prophetic Dreams, and its prior arm, no, Prophetic Dreams... they changed it from spear to javelin? Oh, that's cringe. Javelin sounds donkey, bro. What? What? Oh, come on, dude. I know it is a javelin, but just call it a spear. What are you doing? Oh, there was no need to change it from spear, man. Just, it's called the spearhead. You fuckers. Oh, I hate this company. It's called the Mirage Spearhead. Not the Mirage Javelin Head. Oh. Come on. You, she uses it like a spear more than often than a javelin. And also, you use spears like javelins. I hate this company. You don't, you don't use a javelin like a spear, but you use a spear like a javelin. It's a fucking spear, man. Fuck you, Mahoyo. Fuck you. Filling will be available. I hate them. And you can obtain them from Focus Supply. You'll also be able to forge the new four-star Javelin Mirage Spearhead. Sorry, Spearhead, did you say? Next, spearhead. let's talk about okay. Hare's recommended stigma set. As you wish. I yeah, was yeah. getting teared up the first time I saw it. The art is the only thing. It looks like, like it tells the story of Branya's mother, Alexandra. Alexandra. And now that you mention it, Hare does have deep ties to both Kiana and Branya's moms. More than just giving off an air of danger and mystery, the set also complements Hare's motherly vibe. But if Hare's the mom, who's gonna be the child? <gasps> I'm sure everyone knows the answer to that. Prometheus. True. Her new SP battlesuit is now called Terminal Aid. Now we're into the actual carry of the next patch. If you don't get Terminal Aid 0017, I also like the name of the character. Prometheus is a cool name, but 0017 kind of feels like 007, but a bit spicier. 0017. Uh, I like the name. Very good character. Get her stigma. Very important. Very good. 0017. She's Looks an like imaginary type exactly. physical support who attacks with her fists. Looks like a spear. It is a spear. She can also shield her teammates through her combo attacks and ultimate. Yeah. The shield doesn't just absorb damage, but also enhances her teammates' attacks. Well, She's a, a great cool partner on the uh, battlefield for animation. sure. Plus, Prometheus has the ability to drain power from enemies. While attacking or defending, she can restore her own SP. With enough sure SP, that? she can cast her combo attack to upend sure the earth that? and toss enemies into the air. Holding evasion turns her fists into a shield to block incoming attacks. Releasing evasion at the Kinda right like moment will trigger back in the a day. counter attack. Like, what is this, dealing the damage. Uh, After triggering her know. SP skill, her fists will turn into a giant palm, which strikes from above to deal massive physical damage and freeze the recovery of enemy shields. She yeah. can buff her teammates while dealing decent damage on her own. She's got it all. This is something you're not going to want to miss. That's true. Also, Prometheus' recommended weapon, Pandora's said. Box 18th, and recommended stigma set, Mod Wait, does it show a pre -armed or do, oh, do, Wait, does it not have a pre-arm? No, I swear it did. Do, oh. Wait, does it not have a pre-arm? That will be poo. Oh, man. I am, I am full of cringe now. I guess I never saw it with a pre-arm. I never saw, like, the, uh... Preamable version whilst covering the character, so it must not have a preamble. 18th, 
and recommended stigma set Moth's Days will be released as well. Yeah, I'm just get in that. addition, Moth's Days. during version 6.6's equipment supply event, Beacon of Hope, captains will be. And this is another reason to like roll on the character. I know I'm covering half of it. I do apologize, but essentially, first ten pulls on her character, sorry, on her gear supply is essentially a free ten. And then from there on, you just get a lot of refunding of uh, your rolls. Five refund for every 10 that you put in. So essentially, 10 pull for five cost. Um, so essentially, you'll be able to get her guaranteed gears very quickly. So that's the pretty much the biggest reason to uh, recommend getting her. Guaranteed to pull all the recommended gear for Terminal Aid 0017 within 120 drops. And the first 10 drops in Beacon of Hope are free. Whoa! Plus... Every 10 drops of the first 80 drops reward 5 extra Focus Supply Cards. Yeah, that's good. The event rewards up to 40 Focus Supply Cards. And there will be even more awesome bonuses and content for you to explore. You'll find them in the version 6.6 .6 event series, Dreamy Celebration. Oh yeah? And we're going to break it down for you right here, right now. Hit me first, with. there'll be a login event after the version 6.6 .6 update. As per usual. Play the login event to get up to 10 SP Supply Cards, 5 Focus Supply Cards, and five Terminal Aid 0017 fragments. After the version 6.6 .6 update. So 10 SP character supplies in late 6.5. Stack login days to get SP supply cards. All right. And then stack login days to get focus supply cards after the 6.6 .6 to get five character, uh, sorry, five um of those fuckers. I don't know their names. And then five frag five fragments is not going to do you much, by the way. Terminal Aid 0017 fragments. After the version 6.6 .6 update, the event shop Hut of Delight will be open for business. Oh, you pretty much everything but the jemmies is, is good. The jemmies are mid as fuck, dude. Jemmies suck. For me, this weapon is the same as Eden. You have to wait. That's fucking cringe. Just release can the complete free required event no missions to, to get event tokens choice, and exchange them in Hut of Delight for crystals, yes, and, and, Honkai like, shards, preventing the Einstein's Taurus, and more. But there's more than just bonuses oh God, on the way with the new version. Snow is the surprise there's reward. also the new Ooh. event, Teriri's Magical Quest. Where you'll see quite a few familiar faces. The event is about Siren. magic girl Teriri going on a miraculous Siren journey in pursuit of her action. dreams. Fair enough. In this event, you'll take on enemies by playing a gem matching game. There are oh. four types of gems, and aligning the same type of gems on the screen I love will trigger some different effects. Bejeweled. Align more than three gems Candy to create crush. a skill Let's gem, fucking go, and align five no, do gems the red, in the, do the same red. row do to the create red. an ultra gem. These what? two kinds of gems. What's he doing? He had the five, and he goes for the four. Oh come on, man! Rookie mistake. You have the clear five right here in the middle. One, two. Slap it down. Three, four, five. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. This is why developers shouldn't play their own games. They don't know what they're doing. Rookie mistake, bro. You always go for the fiver because it nets you an extra bonus because it usually converts into a fucking massive clearer, right? And so if he did it right there, then it will drop down right next to the other th green, uh, other, th other two reds, right? And you combo right there and you get a massive clear. But these fuckers don't know what they're doing. They've never played Bejeweled in their life, dude. Bro, oh to create an God. ultra gem. These two kinds of gems will cast skills with a lot of power. Oh, he's messed and everything the gems up. Might be powerful, Everything's messed the up. They don't are know ready what they're doing. For, a fight. Oh for example, light cavalries can freeze multiple gems so they don't move or fall. When that happens, You'll have to align the frozen gems with other gems of the same type to unfreeze them. But don't worry, you'll have plenty of items available in your pack. Also, for some reason, I don't know why I like the concept PvP Candy Crush. Now that's epic. PvP Candy Crush. You take turns making a move, dealing damage depending on what kind of combo you do. And so you have to think ahead, but you have to think ahead on odd turns so you have the advantage oh my god that sounds incredibly fun this is not obviously pvp this is a pve candy crush but pvp candy crush would be fucking sick pack to help you out make good use of them to send your enemies packing there are five characters available for this event each with different skills yeah, you fair can clear enough. different event stages to earn character experience materials that improve their base stat how, how, how mahoyo always somehow incorporates like power scaling and character upgrading and stats management into Honkai's events, even though it makes absolutely no fucking sense, I'll never know. But they've done it. 
somehow they they've introduced stats into Candy Crush. I'm again, it's impossible to do this uh, by for any other company. And every every other, every other company would just give you like a flat amount of damage per something. But no, Mahoe's like they need fifty percent damage bonus. They need thirty three percent crit rate. They need X amount of physical damage bonus. They need they need actually bonuses over here. They need elemental damage shredding. They need oh. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, these fuckers. That's these You can also upgrade your character's gym skills in the gym transmutation system. I'm sure you can. So not only can my gems change, but my gem skills can change as well? Wow. That's right. And this event will also feature challenge stages in Tower of Horror. Completing uh, the challenge will earn A you character system. experience, good, good, good. skill upgrade it. materials, shop tokens, and an event emblem that records the highest floor you've reached. Great. Once you're done with the challenge, you can also exchange there's the a five, shop tokens a five. for Hersher of oh. Thunder's new outfit, Nocturne Ablaze, Crystals, Terminal Aid 0017 Fragments, oh, that skin's Honkai Shards. Wait, this skin's free? Oh, which one is the paid one then? They're probably going to show it in just a second. I thought this one was the paid one and the, uh, is it Ichan? I thought it was the Ichan skin that was the free one. Okay, cool. You can get Hersher of Thunder's cool looking outfit. It's actually really cool. It's not obviously an incredible one because it doesn't change much, but the general theme does change to a what is it kind of like a like a military kind of like maybe british military outfit i'm not really sure what is it called again uh nocturne ablaze yeah i'm not sure what it is kind of british-ish and more royalty and this time the event rewards are as awesome as ever i'm sure they are after the version 6.6 .6 update there's also going to be a new event called merry market you can participate in the supply events and buy themed bundles to get event shop token dreamy pulse headphones which can be exchanged Ooh. for I's new outfit, Leash. Ooh, okay. So S rank battlesuit rank up slash stamp option. Okay, you can get Origin, Equinox, or Ouroboros. Um, infinite Ouroboros stuff. And then you can get an option of Spectral Claws, Orchard's Night, Tipsy Hour, or Old Times. Very cool. And then collector's cards. Use collector cards to exchange for a select four star supply equipment. Bastet and the Piranha Phantasma. That sounds very enticing. The Bastet there and the Piranha Phantasma. I would not mind. Um, but obviously that is... Um, I believe it's this really is the, uh, putting money in. The outfit is packed with musical elements. I sport some headphones while her skirt hemlines are decorated with a play button and two speakers. Can't go it looks how, like uh, Miss Administrator enjoys relaxing with lifetime. music know, in her right? free time. Mahoya really be doing Overall, the works. it's an incredibly cute outfit with a refreshing blue-green color scheme and some very cool special oh, effects. Oh, yeah, true. Nice. Since it, it's it, starting it, to get hot green. this time That's of year, cool, captains might want to snag this outfit and give the bridge a more refreshing vibe. Along with Ai's new outfit, you can also use shop tokens to exchange for one of the following four outfits. Yeah. Spectral Claws for Pardo, Orchid's Night for Starlit Astrologos, Tipsy Hour for Raven, or Old Times for Hexer Bunny. During the event, s rank Battle Suits, Infinite Euroboros, Palatinus Equinox, and Hersher of Origin will be available. Take this opportunity to score the battle suit you like best. Ooh, that's s rank Rank Up Stamps for Infinite Euroboros, Hersher of Thunder, Spina Astera, and Jade Knight will also be available. Yeah. Use event tokens to exchange for collector's cards, Terminal Aid 0017 fragments, and more. Be sure to follow our announcements for further details. And on top of all the awesome events and bonuses, I know, the this, this realm... is important. The Elysian Realm is getting some, like, uh, unironically, it is major fucking changes. They changed in a lot of the, um, like, the stigma, uh, not stigma, sorry, the, a lot of the, the core, core pieces, like uh, Kevin 1, I think, is being changed. A lot of them are, that, like, don't work with certain characters or don't work well. They're being made to actually, like, function. Because Kevin One does just just does not function with certain characters. I I don't believe. Or is it Kevin Two? One of the Kevins, the fifty hit one that you have to get. That, that it just doesn't function with a lot of characters. So I think that's one of the. And we'll be getting a major update in version six point six. First, Elf Typewriter will. Oh, be sorry, I actually just noticed after six point six, Elf Typewriter will be added to show you a summary of each phase of the story. Interesting. A summary of Elysian Realm, I guess, if you, you know, want a, a quick refresh. Be added, cool. showing you a summary for each phase of the story so that you can better understand the timeline and story events so far. Yeah. Second, growth experience has been sped up. Oh! There it is, growth experience, right? Growth ex That is exactly what I've been, I've, I've said a fair few times now in the past while that I've been playing uh, Honkai Impact and... Ever since I've had to grind gems and grind a lot of old characters, right? I've had to get, you know, 
uh, a lot of the old units. I've I've said they need to make this faster because grinding these old units and getting them to level 15 takes like 30 fucking runs. Like in the early days, it wasn't that big of a problem for me because I wasn't experiencing it. But now that I'm experiencing it, it's fucking miserable. So after the 6.6, Shallow Seekers will be a, a battle on one floor with multiple ways of incoming enemies alongside fixed support battle, uh, battle suits, exclusive signets, and general signets. You can use trial cards to start the challenge if you lack suitable Valky um, equip items uh, for the unlocked battle suits. Oh, okay. So they're just making it quicker. So one floor, many waves. Okay. I can get behind this. We already passed that story? Absolutely, but it's, it's a nice summary. It's a nice summary. And it's also one of the more convoluted stories. So I think it's a good summary to have. I, I can get behind this. I'll have to see. I hope they give more cards. If I'm, if I'm trying to read this text here, it's very small, but enemies are resistant to stun, freeze, and paralyze. Uh, level gained... Uh, one level gain in Valkyrie upgrades makes all enemies take 3% more total damage, independent. And then at level 6, Valkyrie upgrades make all enemies take uh, a double digit more total damage. Additionally, uh, refreshable maybe that says? I don't know. But okay, if it, as long as it gives you more of the level up or the growth token thingy, then I'm all for it. Allowing you to unlock signets, remembrance sigils, and support battle suits more quickly. In addition, Shallow Sequence will now be a battle on just one floor, but with multiple ways of incoming enemies. Okay. Complete the challenge to give your fighting ability a boost. Meanwhile... And then here we go. After 6.6, .6, many general signets have been adjusted to be more effective in battle. Um... They have Bodhi here as the example. It seems like they've also fixed the UI. Now, I, I, that's a big one I want to point out here. It seems like they've really kind of made the UI a, a bit more tolerable. Because before the Elysian Realm UI, and a lot of the other games UI, but it seems like Elysian Realm is getting catered to first here, a lot of the UI previously was fucking su insufferable. It was just fucking sh dog shit. But now, what I can tell, this looks a bit more better. You can kind of tell by the character image and the name is right there. This part here, you've got the three stars, and then this part here is mostly the same, but it's, it looks a bit more refined, I think. Eh, kind of, not this one over here, but the one to the left does. I'm trying to read here, though. Plus one combo hits a reset at 150 to boost total damage. Maybe Bodhi hasn't been changed. Who knows? We'll have to find out when the patch launches. The performances of some support battle suits and many general signets have been optimized to be more effective in battle. Okay. With these changes, Captains will be able to really enjoy fighting in the Elysian realm. Well, that's all for version 6.6. .6. Yeah. Wow, there's so much stuff in the new version. I bet our captains can't wait. I really? hope everyone... Is that a lot of stuff? It's, it's a 12-minute Hyperion Lounge. You've had 20-minute ones before. Uh, is this really a lot of things? <laughs> everyone has a blast playing the new version. That concludes today's program. See you next time. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll, okay, this is definitely better than the, the current patch. Like 6.6 .6 is much better than 6.5. But they're both still filler patches. I'll be, I'll be frank with you. Unless this story has something absolutely critical. The only critical thing is going to be this right here. Uh, this is going to be like the only critical thing. And maybe the, uh, the Kira Shigure, whatever. Shigure Kira stuff. But this and that is going to be the only important thing. Everything else is pretty filler. Um, the Bejeweled event looks cool. And I'm, I'm not going to try to do a massive summary because, again, it's not like not everything here is overly important. Um, the story is going to be interesting. They did actually, it, it, weirdly enough, say that the, 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 the current story, three point, chapter 36, part 1, I need to try to get that name correct, is the appetizer. And so it makes sense that it's pretty boring and pretty, like, underwhelming. So hopefully this next one pulls it in. Uh, I believe we're also getting that open world. I don't know how to find it here. Let me try to... I believe we're getting the uh, open world of... Uh, what are they called again? Oh, uh, salty Snow City? Snowy Salty City? I don't know sure what the name is, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this is going to be an open world, which I'm looking forward to. I do like uh, open world sometimes, if they do it correctly. Um, out of the two Valkyries to pull for... Listen, it's it's a Honkai formula. Always roll for the support gears. They're they're the best stuff to roll for. And in Prometheus's case, um, rolling on the character is is probably like not advised. Roll on the gears because the character is free through the SP system. So the gears for her are advised, 
And it's also mainly because you can get her gears for a very highly discounted price because you get a 10 free pull here. And then you have the whole 10 roll refunds, five rolls. And so it's like you get a 10 roll for five costs. And so it's a cycle. Roll for her gears. That's probably the most important thing if you're looking for a pretty much the next meta physical support. You're going to be pretty much replacing everything. As for hair, it's definitely it's just if you, if you want. If you have BKE, then you'll be fine. If you don't have BKE, then it's I'd, I'd probably advise trying to get hair. But other than that, uh, up to you guys, really. I'm not, I'm not going to try to push for it because it's just another... Another character that will eventually get power crept, so I don't fucking know. Do what you want. Um, she looks cool, though. Has cool animations. What else? Other than that, the Bejeweled event. Bro, they, they, the developers suck at this fucking game. These guys have never played it. Bro, go for the... the, the... Oh, why didn't they do that? They did that on purpose. They must have done that on purpose. Because you know how rare it is to have that right there? It's so rare to get that pos perfect positioning of five in a row. Right? Five in a row. They, oh, these motherfuckers. I hate them. It was probably Dawei. It was probably fucking Dawei. He was like, oh, put that there to antagonize these guys. And I, I am antagonized. But this event looks cool. Uh, it's going to be probably easy. The tournament thing, the skin is cool. Uh, this thing, the spending event is pretty cool. Uh, what you can get from the spending event is actually pretty, pretty lucrative. Hersh of Origin, if you missed out on her, is probably going to be very lucrative. As well as... um as any of the collector's card stuff, if you manage to get to that stuff. As for the skins, well, the part of Fellas one is probably the best one there. And then the Elysian Realm changes, as we've just said. I, I want to see if there's, they actually have a patch notes for the uh, Signet changes. I'd, I'd want to see the Signet changes right now, because I just want to see them. But the Signet changes, as well as the uh, Shallow Sequence change, is fucking incredible. This should have happened a long time ago, but at least it happened eventually. So I'm satisfied with that. So overall... A pretty good Hyperion Lounge, and it's going to be a pretty good patch, but again, it's still probably going to be quite boring, uh, because unless the, the story hard carries, uh, then I don't see it being incredibly interesting, unless you're here really just for the fundamental changes in a few systems. Um, but yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, maybe another filler patch, but I'm okay with that.